but the sedan market shrinking because people were basically going into SUVs more so than ever. Joshua has given us the final year of production of the 2022 Volkswagen Passat Limited Edition in the racing green metallic here at Volkswagen of Newport Ritchie. Some history to this vehicle. It was developed back in 1973. The Racing Green Metallic is one of 423 units, which is the area code that represents Chattanooga, Tennessee. Back then, this vehicle had two different names. It started off with the Dasher, then the Quantum. We didn't get the nameplate Passat until 1990. We didn't get the factory in Chattanooga, Tennessee until 2011. So the history just keeps on and there's a heritage to this vehicle. I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rods and I'm gonna go over all the specs and details starting now. The Volkswagen Passat Limited Edition starts off with the long hood. It's a luxury, got some aerodynamic proportions and it flows and integrates into that Volkswagen grill. You got the chrome that comes over the top and over the top of your adaptive LED headlamps. LED daylight runnings with cornering lights and fog lights. I like that you got the three bars as well underneath and they give you some more chrome on the bottom trim as well. I do wish, because this is the racing green metallic, that this area inside was high gloss black polish because it would have really set a more luxury slash sporty styling because when you look at this car the way the sun hits it in different angles it's going to give you two or three different looks of color which makes it very striking a height of 58 inches with a width of 61 inches on the lower area here you're going to get some non-functional vents you got your front sensors as well and then you have an area that will have some functionality with a lower spoiler so it gives a little bit of a sporty aerodynamic push to it ground clearance is still good at 5.4 inches so getting around everything in this german sedan is going to be pretty easy and i like the fact that it's not something that's gonna break the bank account, which throughout the review, we'll go through all those details and all those line proportions. Keep the same segment going over these 18 inch multi-spoke with black accent alloy wheels, the disc reading at 12.3 inches in the front, the rear at 10.7 inches, four wheel independent suspension, McPherson strut front suspension with lower control arms, a multi-link rear suspension, with coil springs, telescoping dampers, and your anti-roll bars. The racing green just keeps that segment profile. I like the fact that we do have chrome and the black gloss in between, because with this vehicle, it needs to be sporty, so you need to throw some luxury to it as well with the chrome and the gloss black. And I like even on the side view mirrors, just the way everything sparkles and looks, it really pops with your limited badging on the side, a length at 193.6 inches and a wheelbase at 110.4 inches. All of those aerodynamic lines serve a purpose as well. And that's what happens when you get a German sedan, you're gonna get everything that integrates and goes seamless all the way to the rear which are led brake lights the racing green metallic keeps that modern styling for the germans in the rear the passat badging it's just enough you know giving that luxury touch to it and that's exactly what you want an elegant look to the rear of the vehicle because it really does pretty much mimic the front of it the way it sets shark fin antenna in that racing green metallic going down to the lower trim you're going to get your parking sensors that are integrated and because of the color scheme you can barely see them you got your reverse parking camera you do have dual chrome exhaust outlets however it's just a shelf more or less because there's nothing here it's tucked underneath but this is a segment that Volkswagen is doing. So keeping it keeps that iconic Volkswagen image and that's what we're going after. Going inside to your cargo at 15.9 cubic feet. There's storage underneath the floor. The rear bench split folds at a 60-40 with a payload of over 900 pounds. The Volkswagen Passat Limited Edition is not just a stylish and sporty hip vehicle. It also puts down the performance with a 2.0 liter 
turbocharged TSI four cylinder producing 174 horsepower and 206 pound feet of torque. That's paired to a six speed automatic transmission or Tiptronic achieving 24 to 36 MPGs, a zero to 60, just a hair over eight seconds with a top speed at 116 miles per hour and a quarter mile at around 16.2 seconds. The German sedan just screams performance in this racing green. The numbers don't necessarily justify it. However, the stance of what you get, I like that they're going out with a bang. And since this is the last year of production, I like the fact that they've went all playful and gave some heritage. Even when we go over some more of the specs, you're gonna get a little touch of history as well. Let me know in the comments what you think about the 2022 Volkswagen Passat Limited Edition as we go into the interior, go over the tech and take this for our test run. Entering inside the last year Volkswagen Passat which also indicates the year they're only producing 1,973 units. So just keep that in mind. 37.4 inches of headroom, 42.4 inches of legroom. You're gonna get Mauro brown leather. It's a Vienna type, eight-way power adjustment for both passengers in the front. They're heated seats, three-way memory seat for the driver, contrast stitching in white. And I like the setup because this car has a lot of history to it. The color, there's 524 units, and that represents the opening date of May 24th, 2011 for Chattanooga. Underneath the cup holders, you got the map where the assembly line is, and you can fit 16.9 ounce water bottle on top and no problem, probably a 20 ounce. You got the silver inlays with the gloss black. You got your push button start. You got your wireless charging 12 volt and a USB. Dual climate control through the Climatron, 8-inch touchscreen with navigation. This has your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, Bluetooth connectivity, AM, FM, and HD radio. We don't have the navigation right now because the car just literally came in. Upgraded Fender Premium Audio Sound System. It's nine speakers, 400 watts inside this sedan. That's a lot. The dashboard, I like it. Even the Honda Civic is mimicking the air vents. So you could tell that this is such a nice retro look. You got the wood inlays, you got the gloss black in the center. And I like the fact that they don't go everywhere with gloss black. They actually give you difference of materials, which is a nice setup for the segment in this German sedan. Elbows, it's gonna be a little bit tough here, but it's gonna be super soft on the door panel, opening up to some more storage. And I mean, you have, full efficiency and enough room. A leather wrap steering wheel, you got the gloss black inserts that are pretty much all around the three spokes, multi-function, the gauge cluster, it has a information screen that goes through an array of information for the driver. Everything else is gonna be analog, but you know, it definitely fits the car because this is the image of the Passat. For the door panel, you're gonna receive harder materials on the top. Leather red is gonna be in the center, one touch up and down for all the windows, and storage is immense. You could probably fit five 16.9 ounce water bottles with your moon roof. Let's check out the back seats. For the back seats, I'm at 37.4 inches of headroom, 39.4 inches of legroom, which is quite a bit for this mid-size sedan. You're gonna have two air vents, your heated seats, two USB ports, storage behind both of the front seats. The Vienna leather comes into the rear with the contrast stitching and I like the setup that we got you do sit up a little higher than you do in the front gonna be soft here a little bit more firm on the door panel harder materials on the top you get the leatherette in the center and you could probably fit four or five 16.9 ounce water bottles here in the center 16.9 ounce is pretty much the max a 20 ounce it might fit but it's gonna be a little tough the floor isn't completely flat you do have a little bit of a area where it makes it a little bit difficult for someone like me to sit but let's see how i look sitting into the center headroom no problem leg room i'm grazing the back of the passenger seat i've moved it back a little bit further than my positioning the air vents are perfect for me it's obviously not going to be so optimal for the occupants next to me as for leg space plenty of leg space shoulder space and hip space is going to be pretty good and you actually sit back a little bit so it's a little bit more of a comfortable ride I would say in the center even though you do sit up a little higher than on both sides but you know you can fit three adults my size but if you really want to enjoy this sporty German sedan fitting two back here is going to be more luxurious you have all the space that you need and you can enjoy the ride behind the back seat of the driver taking the limited edition 2022 Volkswagen Passat out for our test run 
I like the racing green. I think it's a really cool color, especially the way it looks. I will say it's something that may get a little old as the years progress. If you keep it really polished up, it's going to stay pretty cool because of the fact that it looks like black, it's metallic, it's green, it's all mixed in between. So I do like that. And I also like the fact that they're giving heritage to this particular vehicle because they don't necessarily do that in segments that are $30,000. And this is just a hair over that, maybe 31,000, give or take. And to get this much heritage, you would usually get that in like a Ferrari, a McLaren, or even a Bentley, not in a Passat. I wish that they upgraded the engine option though, like they're doing with the Arteon, because I think it would definitely give it a little bit more vibrant. But, you know, 2.0 liter turbocharged, four cylinder, you can see when you give it some gas, it rock and rolls. And I like the fact that it does that the six speed Tiptronic. It's definitely a fun delight. The leather seats, I like the fact that they're doing that because I mean, you should get leather and you're getting eight way power adjustment for both passengers in the front, which is awesome because again, $30,000 price point for the vehicle. I know maybe a thousand or two more, but at the end of the day, it's inexpensive for what you're getting with technology and the setup that you're getting. Leather wrapped seats for the front and the rear. Typically, you'd be getting leather red in most of the Volkswagen lines. 174 horsepower. Here we go. We're laying down the hammer. Rock and roll time. Gets extremely loud. And most of the noise really starts around two and a half to three RPM. So it isn't too bad on a daily drive. You're not gonna hear too much. You will hear the road noise through the wheel wells predominantly. No dual pane windows. As for braking in the vehicle, I mean, you could pretty much stop on a dime and that's what you need when they get this type of vehicle. It's still sporty and playful. It does feel a little bit more grown up with this color choice. Red light, green light, 206 pound-feet of torque pushing you back in this inline four-cylinder turbocharge getting nice and noisy the tiptronic moving very smoothly and i like the fact that you can still play with it you know it would be nice that they went a little bit more with the speed i hate to say it but you know there is three things i like and three things that i dislike because anything more than that i'd be buying the vehicle so to just jump into it the three things that i like I like that they give it heritage to the vehicle. That is awesome. Everything about it, whether it's the color, whether it's the interior, whether it's the amount of units actually made, everything has history to it. The second thing that I like, you get leather, you get eight-way power adjustments, you get dual climate control, you get and get and get, I can just keep going for a vehicle that's priced at the low $30,000 mark. That is an awesome deal. The third thing that I like about the vehicle is it's still sporty, playful, and all mixed. And you can only get this color for this year, which is the last year of production. Three things that I dislike about the vehicle is the power derived underneath. I wish that they put at least 200 horsepower. The 206 pound feet of torque is fine. 250 would be more pleasurable. The second thing that I dislike about the vehicle is you know, I wish that they gave some more sporty aesthetics to the exterior because this is the last year. Maybe make the R-Line badging come into it or just blow it out a little bit more. They did a great job giving everything that they did. Just a little bit more touch, I think, would have been, you know, hitting it right on the head. Stopping on the vehicle, not too much of an issue. I mean, it's, it's a standard sedan, so you're not going to have too much of a problem there. Turn radius at a stop point. You're going to be getting about two lanes, giving it some gas to rock and roll and try to keep up with the traffic. You can do it. The third thing that I dislike, there's not enough charging ports in the vehicle. I mean, you only got one in the front besides a 12 volt. The two in the rear is okay, it's sufficient, but not really if you're gonna have a family of five in the vehicle. At the end of the day, this is this is it. This is, the, they killed it. They're not gonna make it no more. They do stress a lot on the harder materials on the top parts of all the door panels and pretty much on the dash area. But at the end of the day, price point, you really can't complain about what you're getting because everything is pretty smooth and streamlined the way they got it set up and looking through the hood you can see everything the ground clearance is good the dynamics it's not going to be that sport derived but you do to get the turbocharged engine so it is going to be playful as for visibility on the side you got the blind spot monitoring the car isn't too long either so if you really need to maneuver in and out of something you can which is a good thing also as for looking in the back you can see pretty much to the trunk the a pillars in the front they're not so 
wide or large so that way it doesn't really take away from visibility and as for the the comfort in the car it actually goes over impurities pretty smooth it soaks it up and these are with 18 inch wheels so if they went too crazy with the wheel size i would say then it would jeopardize that suspension we're going to take this back to volkswagen and newport richie go over the reverse camera and wrap this review up switching to reverse you do have the lines they do not move you can click into the menu screen you do have kind of a gesture as well if you click onto this you can also opt for it where it's like that as well and you can just put it back that way to make it easier for your reversing. I like to thank Joshua here at Volkswagen of Newport Ritchie for giving us this 2022 Volkswagen Passat limited edition for our car review. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Hawkeye community. If not, click that subscribe button, check out the details, the merchandise, and everything we do here at Hawkeye Rocks.